tragedy. The University of Virginia, listen, it, this is not good news at all. The University of Virginia had five players, three killed, two others seriously injured in a shooting on campus involving a former player after an off-campus, uh, I guess, trip. And the uh, player uh, who was off, they, didn't, they couldn't find him for a little bit. He's now in custody. The ex-player is now in custody. And what a horrible tragedy in uh, Charlottesville, Virginia, and also with the University of Virginia football program. Yeah, uh, that city, you know, was probably still uh, recovering from the, the last tragedy they had uh, during the, you know, the, the statue situation and now has this other one at the university that's really terrible. And uh, I think, you know, uh, you know it, it just brought back memories of me of the, the situation that happened here in Waco with Patrick Dennehy where, uh, you know, uh, and, and Carlton Dotson, who murdered him, uh, and that uh, is what led to the Baylor basketball scandal under Dave Bliss. Uh, and it's just so tragic uh, what happened and certainly don't know the, the motive for what uh, the former football player, the walk-on, uh, who committed the crime had for doing it. But it's tragic, and I just can't imagine what it's like to be on that campus and especially – on that football team this week when you're supposed to be preparing for a game against Coastal Carolina. Uh, and Tony Elliott in his first year has now got to turn around and deal with unspeakable tragedy. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know what much to say. Um, it's a lot to try and digest and, and think about. Um, just like Paul said, an absolute tragedy. And heart goes out to, uh, to everybody in that community and everybody involved. And uh, now some folks who have lost loved ones uh, unspeakably and uh, without any sort of warning and uh, just I can't imagine the complete shock that the people are feeling and reeling from at the moment. Um, and I know this will be used far beyond just a story of, of sadness. This will, you know, now become political and I'm sure in some ways and, you know, be talked about in disparaging ways and other ways. But uh, just at, at its core, it's uh, a huge, sad um awful evil story in so many ways and uh, i don't know uh, you know the the backstory i don't think anybody really does right now if there even is a backstory uh, you never uh, you never know um, with these situations but yeah uh, i just i just feel awful i don't i don't even can't even wrap my head around what that must be like and uh, it is one of those things where you know i thought of uvaldi so i think we've all got our, yeah. our own thing we probably got like 10 things we can all think of that seem similar to this and and that's what's the the scary and saddest part uh, of all other than this immediate you know tragedy right here um but yeah uh, this is america uh in, in so many ways uh feels like this is something that happens just quite a bit now and um uh, you know now it's just hitting home on this show closer because it involves some athletes um, but this is, you know, common occurrence now, and it's just, it's pathetic and it's sad. And, you know, I, I don't know what else to say about it. Um, the uh, investigation, the vice president at West University of Virginia, President Jim Ryan, said that the shooting took place on a charter bus after students returned to campus from a field trip, an off campus field trip. He called it obviously sad, shocking, tragic day for University of Community. Christopher Darnell Jones Jr., a former player, had been taken in, was taken into custody uh, overnight. In fact, I think even earlier, about three o'clock this morning, there were texts as far as alerts from the university. So there's that story. And again, our thoughts and prayers to any place, any place, no matter athletic or not, but a horrible story out of Charlottesville, Virginia. Three players killed, two others are wounded. And um, so uh, it's, it's just a horrible situation in Charlottesville, Virginia. Then what appeared to be perhaps one of the top stories today, and it's 